Good morning. Today is Wednesday, and uh, the day today is July the 8th, 19. And the time right now in Singapore is 6.28 in the morning. Uh, obviously, the U.S. market has just closed not too long ago. And overnight, we have the release of the U.S. retail sales number. It came in uh, much lower than the market expected. The market was expecting an increase of 0.5%, but it only came in at 02 However, the May number was actually revised upwards from 0.3 to 0.5. So that more or less even out uh, the uh, June number. So basically, the market actually reacted to the upside in terms of equity markets. We can see uh, all major equity markets actually rose to the new high for a year, including the Dow Jones that actually broke through uh, for the first time. Uh, it broke through the, July, the January high that we saw at the beginning of the year. And uh, however, we can see that crypto assets prices actually backpedaled. Most of the major tokens were actually trading much lower, except with uh, for Ethereum, which actually uh, managed to uh, close the day with a marginal gain. So what we are seeing here in the chart uh, in front of you is the Bitcoin prices on a four hours time frame. Now, the Bitcoin is currently trading below 30000 dollars and this not the first time on saturday itself the market actually traded below thirty thousand dollars for the first time after taking the uh, bitcoin to the year high at thirty one thousand eight one eight so we can see the euphoria behind the ripple lab case has now basically evaporated market is coming back down again and uh, as the market trades below thirty thousand uh, dollars, which we again saw last night or uh, rather this morning, uh, currently it's trading at twenty nine thousand seven ninety. And if the market continues to drift lower, especially below twenty nine thousand four hundred, it starts to look very attractive from a consolidation point of view. Because I do believe the big boys are still very much engaged in this market and uh, deep below twenty nine thousand four hundred, which we last saw at the end of June, uh, may actually be a good price picked up some more uh, BTC in my opinion here. So my level of buying will be somewhere between $28,700 to $29,400 range. And uh, if this market managed to hold at this level, it could actually build up a base for the next rally beyond the year high at $31,818. Initial target is about between $35,400 to even as high as $39,000. So there's quite a bit of potential here in my opinion so you can actually watch this market uh, and see for yourself if this is going to be something that you will love to do as well in the meantime you take care and i'll come back to you tomorrow with another update bye-bye take care